Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We are still playing the Honest Hearts DLC, but it seems that this DLC is slowly approaching the end. We have one big and apparently very final decision coming up. Although technically I already made my decision last episode and I explained in great detail why I did it. So all that's left to do now is to tell Daniel about it. Who should be somewhere in the vicinity. Yep, here he is. And I'm sure he's going to be disappointed by my decision. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the sorrows. I'm going to need your help, so say your piece. Yeah, that's another thing, by the way. If your entire plan hinges on some random stranger stumbling into your valley by accident and agreeing to do all the dirty and bloody work for you. Maybe your plan wasn't so great to begin with? I mean, what would you have done if I hadn't come to Zion? You basically would be in the same situation, right? You could either help Joshua or stay behind and you still wouldn't be able to leave Zion because apparently you can't do it without me. But don't blame me for not participating in this plan that I wasn't part of to begin with. Anyway, um, yeah, I think Joshua's right to an extent anyway. I don't agree with his fanatism, but I still think for the most part um, it's the right decision to go and fight the White Legs and drive them out of Zion so that the dead horses and sorrows can live here in peace. So that's my decision. No. Why? <laughs> Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. Well, it's not like I'm forcing the Soros to join us in battle. If they really, really, really don't want to uh, go to battle, then I guess I have to stay behind and uh, the dead horses and Joshua and myself have to take uh, care of this on our own. Anyway, and you have the right to pull them off their land. Yeah, I kind of asked the same question in the previous episode. This is the way the world is. They're part of it, whether you like it or not. That's also kind of true. I mean, even if we would be able to avoid this battle, I mean, they might get attacked again. The White Legs might be able to follow them and try to kill them, or some other tribe attacks them, or the Legion attacks them. So I think they can't just run away forever, and this is a very dangerous world. So maybe, maybe it's time for them to learn to defend themselves uh, in this dangerous world. But um, I do like the first option, so I think that's what I'm going to pick. I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment, killed someone <laughs> who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Well, Joshua that's must fine. be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Yeah, sure. If if you want to stay behind, that's your right. Uh, Waking Cloud has returned to the Soros camp. Okay, so apparently she left my company now and she's going to give me all her crap, so I might be over encumbered now. But um, to... Uh, talk a little bit about what he said about killing someone who doesn't deserve it. I mean, I'm not someone who's quick to tell people that they deserve to die. But honestly, it's not like the White Legs didn't have a choice. They didn't have to come here. They didn't have to kill and attack everyone they see. And mercy, well, um, so far I didn't really have any chance to show any mercy because, like I said, they attack on sight and it's either me or them and no opportunity for showing any kind of mercy towards them. So I think attacking the White Legs is well within most people's definition of self-defense. 
So yeah, let's uh, just continue. You have lost waking clouds quite as a water spark. Okay, that's fine. And apparently we're just going to skip to the next part of this task. Thank you for this. Task. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of dead horse warriors and sorrows hunters into three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, salt upon wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. <laughs> this is an extermination. Yeah, this is the thing that I'm slightly worried about, that he's going to exaggerate a little bit. You know, I'm fine with just driving the White Legs out of Zion. Um, but apparently there's nothing I can do here. I can just say, let's do it. So I guess we're going to do it. And it seems that some Soros are going to join us. I guess they are willing to join us. It's not like uh, Joshua or me can force them to do that. At least I hope that they are actually willing to do this. God be with you. Joshua Graham has given you the Way of the Canaanite perk. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. Oh, so maybe I should use one of these 45 pistols. Then again, I kind of had a different idea on the weapon that I would like to use. Um, first of all, let's have a look at my inventory. Oh, I'm not over encumbered because I increased my strength and I have more carrying capacity. That's great. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to use the weapon that we found on the uh, survivalist, the father in the caves. First of all, I haven't tried this one so far and it seems like a good weapon. And I think it's kind of poetic because this weapon has once been used to drive away invaders from this valley. So why not use it for the same purpose now? Um, and we'll see how this weapon works for me. And if I don't like it, I can still switch to the auto pistol or one of my usual guns. Also, I can slightly decrease my inventory here. Um, right. So where exactly do we have to go? Right. Three Marys. So it is that canyon that uh, Waking Cloud didn't want to go into. So I guess we can, like, fast travel. Oh, I can't fast travel. I guess they want me to go there on foot. Okay. So I can't just shortcut by uh, traveling a little bit faster. Um, let's just put another marker here to have another visual guide where I'm supposed to go. And yeah, let's uh, head out. And I guess we're just going to follow the river. Oh, well, uh, maybe following the river is not such a good idea because um, it's making us a very easy target for an attack. All right, let's see, where's the enemy? I see someone over here. Oh, there we go. All right, let's put this weapon to good use. Oh, that did a lot less damage than I hoped. Alright, but we still managed to take him down, although he kind of set me on fire. Um, there's someone on top of this hill, right? It's kind of hard to see him. Oh, now I see him. Okay, maybe I'm actually going to use a different rifle for this one. I'm not sure if I'm hitting anyone. But I mean, he can hit me, so I'm sure I can hit him as well. Anyway, there's still danger. 
Oh, he's still he's still on top of this. Ah, uh, man, I guess I can try to use my vets, although. of actually hitting him. Well, actually, I did hit him. Prepare to meet your maker. Oh, now he's coming down here. All right, there we go. That was a good shot. Well done. Indeed. All right. Um, I think. We fought back this first ambush, but um, I'm going to need to replenish my health a little bit here. But I have quite the supply of stim packs. All right, now let's uh, switch weapons again and let's move on. And yeah, I'm not going to swim in the water because if we get attacked in the water, it's kind of hard to fight back. All right. Seems to be safe at the moment, so let's put away the gun. Let's move towards our destination, which is actually on the other side of the river, right? But I guess we can like use the bridge over here. And at least it doesn't look like there's any more white legs around here. Oh, hang on a second. I can see them with my eyes before I can see them on my map. Maybe I can get the drop on them. Not sure if this is too far away. <laughs> nope, I can totally hit them from here. But I'm pretty sure there's still more. Yep, there's still more. <laughs> there's quite a bit more. Okay, this time the weapon well, actually well did some done. decent damage. I guess I just didn't hit the last time. All right. Let's keep moving. I see another enemy on my map. Hard to tell if it's a white leg or just an end or whatever. But okay, um, we have the bridge over here. Now, of course, that would be a good place for an ambush. Oh, well, um, looks like uh, Joshua is taking care of them already. But yeah, let's be careful here. Pretty sure a bridge is good place for an ambush. I'm not seeing any though. Oh, hang on a second. Now I saw someone. On my compass anyway. Yeah, somewhere over here. I see them. All right. Go for the head. Okay. Oh, it's not a bad weapon. I like it. It's going to be used for its intended purpose, I suppose. Defending the valley. Uh, are these people on top of the, the rock? Because if they are, I may just ignore them. These are not the white legs we are currently trying to fight, right? Um, yeah, if I just follow the river until the next stream. I think I'm fine. Okay, Joshua is still following me. And no, I think I have to still follow the river. And now we are at the bridge, but we don't have to... Yeah, I guess we have to cross the bridge, but then we have to leave the road and 
Stay near the water. Oh, well. I can see an enemy. Again, it's hard to tell if he's maybe on top of the rock. And if he is, um, I may just want to ignore them. Oh, but I do see the one over here. Oh, well, here we go. There's definitely several people here trying to ambush us. Um, okay, I'm going to take care of this guy over here. Die where you stand. Oh, there's another one over there. And this guy is trying to go into the water? You know, I actually don't have to do anything. Joshua is just killing them all. I mean, he is full of bloodlust. So, I guess that is to be expected. Anyway, let's keep moving. I guess I will take some of their useful stuff, but I don't think I need any of that ammo. Alright, um, yeah, we have to stay near the water. Oh, hey, um, look at that. Another one. Oh boy. And gone is the head. Oh yeah, I do want these, because these are actually... The ammo for the weapon I'm currently using. Okay, um, I'm still going in the right direction, yes, more or less. Uh, yeah, I do remember this place. Now the question is, should I go through here? I'm pretty sure I can't just cross over this stuff, so... Just staying close to the water probably the best idea. Yes. <laughs> you seem to be enjoying this far too much. All right, I can see them. I think they can see me now. All right. And they're dead. Oh, um, this guy actually has a gun on his own. Let's see if I can actually hit him from here. Nope. But Joshua can. Good work. Uh, I can take the healing powder. Um, so we should be at the canyon very soon. Um, I still believe that this is the sound of a uh, White Lake's pain maker or light bringer. I think it's a light bringer, one with the flaming weapons, but I've been hearing this noise so often and nothing really happens, so I'm not entirely certain about that anymore. Anyway, we made it to the canyon. Maybe I should quick save before I move on. So, let's see. I'm a little bit worried about these high walls. Would be a perfect place for an ambush. But I'm not seeing any enemies on my compass. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing some friendlies. Oh, so I guess these are my allies. Well, look at that. Sorrow's dead horse. Oh, but now we are being attacked by actual enemies, so let's join them. Um, but I don't want to hit the wrong target here. Can I target the white leg guy over here? Uh, let's shoot the white leg's leg. And there we go. And, and there's another one. 
But I'm not sure if I actually have enough AP to do anything about this. I just don't want to hit one of my allies. Oh, well, there's more of them. Okay. Yes, we hit that guy. Ooh. What did just happen? Something exploded. Oh, um, well. You kind of snuck up on us. Let's take care of him. Alright. Is that all of them? And it looks like our allies, um... Definitely hold up pretty well. This one actually got one of their Lightbringer weapons now. Um, right. So we need to. Okay, we need to go all the way through the canyon up to the end. I see. Uh, let's have a quick look around here. Let's see if I can find any supplies, for example, over here. This might be useful. Oh well. My pin broke. I mean, I'm very close to opening it. There we go. Um, sure. I guess I'll take this. Um, well, I could use a magazine to open this, but I don't really care. Uh... I'll take the bottle cap, I suppose. The rest is not so important. Okay, um, I guess uh, we need to move on. Um, I don't know, let's maybe put another marker here to give me a better idea where I need to go. Also, can I pick up these totems? No. I mean, we've learned that apparently if their totems are destroyed, it's going to break their spirit and their resolve. So I feel I should be taking the totems, but apparently that's not an option. Oh, whoa! What did just happen? This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. It's taking too long. I'm as fast as I can be, but apparently he is just too impatient. Okay. Um, you have lost Joshua Graham's way of the Canaanite perk. <laughs> Whatever. And that answers my question if I should change to that other weapon, because now it's not important anymore anyway. Okay, um, so... I guess... Oh, I actually have to go here. My quest marker has just moved. That's interesting. Um, yeah, this might actually be the right place to go. Um, Three Mary's Cavern. Oh, I see. Gotta go inside the cavern. Sure, let's do it. Oh, I'm seeing enemies inside here. Yep, I'm seeing enemies. And now the enemy is headless. But there's more of them. Um, sure, give me that. But, um... I don't really need... the machine gun, I suppose. I mean, I have some, some inventory space, so I'll take it. Alright. I see you over here. And he's coming right at me. Oh, he actually m managed to set me on fire before he lost his head. <laughs> Okay, but didn't really cause me a lot of damage. <laughs> this actually cost me a little bit of damage. 
Um, well, don't need any of this. I'll take this, and I guess I will uh, heal up a little bit. Never know what's going to happen next. All right. Um, what does my map say? Gotta go to the right. But maybe I will have a quick look around this cave, just in case. Oh, this first aid box. Oh, I gladly take the stim packs. Um, and I guess everything that can heal me. After all, we don't know how much more fighting I will have to do here. Um. Okay, this seems to be a dead end. Got some random crap here. Uh, sure, I guess I'll take all of it. This one is locked. It's easy. Um, well, since it doesn't weigh anything, I may as well take it. But now let's move on. Especially since Joshua went off on his own and I would prefer to make it to my destination first. Just to make sure that he doesn't do something that he might regret. Um, is this actually a way I can go? No, this is blocked. All right. Then again, he's probably not going to regret anything, so... Oh, this is actually the exit of the cave. All right. Um, so where am I now? Okay. Didn't really cut that far. <laughs> but apparently I still have to follow the canyon, so let's just continue. Bunch of random crap. And another camp. But it's completely empty. Oh, I will take the wonder glue because apparently I need wonder glue for making magazines. Um, what is this? Fork. Don't need that. All right, let's keep moving. Um, okay, apparently this is not where I have to go. I hope that this is the way to go. Yeah, I guess so. I guess a cave was just like a shortcut and cut past the area that collapsed for some reason and I see this trap over here. <laughs> so apparently there's traps around here. Gotta be careful about that. <gasps> Welp! <laughs> Just when I mentioned being careful. Uh oh! Oh, well, um, yep, but these are more dead horses and sorrows, presumably. Yep. So it really looks like they totally uh, got this under control. I mean, sure, I'm killing a few white legs here and then, but for the most part... They're actually doing all the hard work, the heavy lifting. Okay, now I can see someone over here. All right. Let's go for the head. Oh, and I have to reload. It's going to cost me. <laughs> but not a lot. Not a lot. I managed to kill him just in time. All right. See another one. There we go. 
dead. And I see yet another enemy on my radar. Uh, I will take this. I don't need the gun. I have the holy gun of the father in the caves. And he's going to strike you down with his anger. <laughs> Alright. Let's go for the head again. That should finish him off before he reaches me. <laughs> and I can just ignore the traps at this point because they don't really do that much damage anymore. It's not like the mines that actually hurt me quite a bit. But I may want to take, like, maybe a Sunset Sassaparilla to regenerate some of it. Also, I do see this trap over here. I mean, it still gives me XP to disarm it, so I should maybe do this. And I should maybe make another quick save here. Um, I'm seeing a lot more allies. And again, they seem to be taking care of the situation. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've seen a single dead tribal on our side so far. All the corpses that I found were white legs. Um, anyway, let's have a quick look around this camp too. Can't take the totems. Don't see anything too interesting. So, how much further do I have to go? Oh, it's not... it's not a long way to go. Should be just around the next river bend. can see these enemies over here. Oh, that's actually quite a few of them, too. Um, let's take down this one first. And finish this one off with my remaining AP. Oh, and we have one more over here. Oh, well. One of the dead horses is coming to my rescue. That's great. Like I said, they can really take care of themselves. Good work. Good work. This is how you do it. Um, well, none of them has anything too interesting. Again, I should probably make sure that my health is always decently high because you never know how many more enemies are going to attack you here. So, I should be very close now, yes. Let's move on. Who knows, maybe I will actually be able to finish off all the white legs in this episode. T pilot light? Oh, what? is happening. Oh, apparently we warned you at Syracuse. I you arrived. Persisted. <laughs> you took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory oh, on earth. Salt upon wounds. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. <laughs> Kale Wachene Conserva O. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kuna man mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Um, now you want me to help you? Well, let's see. Wow, this isn't what I signed up for. Let me talk to Joshua about this. You're right, we're going to kill you, but not like this. Defend yourself. Mm. Well, it is kind of what I signed up for, because I kind of expected Joshua 
to you know go for the revenge and to kill every white leg even you know the ones that apparently surrendered already which is not something that i would agree with but um if i can talk him out of this then i guess i will give it a try him hear you you talk well let's see don't listen to this thing his cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket he gave no mercy to my family and i will give none to his well, you don't want to be a beast like him, in your own words, right? Joshua, you've already won. Look around. There's no need to kill him. Yeah. I mean, we basically exterminated all the warriors. So what is he going to do on his own? He has a debt to pay for what he's done. And I've come to collect. And so he's chosen to cower in the water like a dumb animal. So basically, at this point, it's not about self-defense anymore. It's just about revenge. But I have another speech check, and it's a very high one. A good thing that I use these magazines. Although I actually had more than 90 when I came here. I think I had 92 before I came to Zion. And then I put a few more points into it, and then I used the skill magazines to push me to 100. Which means... I should be able to pass pretty much any speech check this game would throw at me. So let's see, what is this about? If what you believe is true, he'll pay for it later. The sorrows don't need to see you do this. Now that's actually an interesting argument. It's basically using his religion as an argument, but not in the most obvious way by saying, oh, doesn't the Bible teach you mercy and forgiveness? Because, uh, I mean... If you look in the right part of the Bible, you can find anything. And I'm pretty sure he has some uh, parts of the Bible that he can use to justify what he's doing. So just saying, well, he's going to hell anyway, according to your beliefs. So shouldn't you maybe leave him be and let God punish him might actually be a, a smarter idea than trying to talk to him about mercy and forgiveness. And since I don't have any other option anyway, we're going to do this. I want to take from them what they took from me, from my family. In this life. I want them to suffer. I want all of them to die in fear and pain. I want to have my revenge. Mm -hmm. Against yeah. him. Against Caesar. I want to call it my own. To make my anger God's anger. To justify the things I've done. Sometimes I tell myself that these wildfires never stop burning. But I'm the one who starts them. Not God. Not them. I can always see it in my mind. The warmth and the heat. It will always be a part of me. But not today. Go. Mm, Get success. out of here. Go back. Back to the Great Salt Lake. Okay, well, apparently we managed to convince him to show mercy. That's it. It's finished. Thank you for staying with me. I couldn't have done this on my own. Hm. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon. And there is much to do. I guess there is. Anyway, apparently I leveled up again. So... I don't know. Let's increase sneak, maybe. I do want to push my guns up to 100 at some point, too. Um, as for the rest... I'm not sure. I guess more medicine doesn't hurt. And maybe I'm just going to put all these remaining points into lockpick. So maybe one day I will be able to open, like, higher level chests. Anyway, let's continue. And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Demoralized by the dead horse and sorrow's attack the courier and Joshua Graham led against them, the White Legs retreated to Great Salt Lake. Their days were numbered. Word soon reached the 80s tribe that the White Legs' spirit was broken, their war chief a dim shadow of his former self. 
By year's end, the 80s would overrun the White Legs camps, scattering the tribe to the winds and claiming the Great Salt Lake for its own. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Seeing the courier convince Joshua Graham to spare salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that retribution could be tempered by mercy. Though he despaired at the Sorrow's loss of innocence, Daniel took some small consolation in the courier's lesson and prayed it would take root. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the dead horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands with his own eyes and ears. After returning to Dead Horse Point, he quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. One morning, they awoke to discover that Follows Chuck had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. Waking okay. Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. The threat of the White Legs ended. Joshua Graham helped the Sorrows and Dead Horses tend to their fallen comrades and secure Zion. The Courier's words had stayed Joshua's wrath in his darkest hour, and in sparing salt upon wounds, he was changed. While he continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan, he sometimes showed quarter to those who crossed his family. Well, that's Eventually, something, I guess. This new spirit would diminish the myth of the burned man in distant lands. A small price for the peace it brought to Joshua Graham. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. <laughs> and with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. Okay, well, apparently that is the end of this DLC. And I don't know, all things considered, I guess it's not the worst ending. Obviously, I can't compare it to the other ending, um, that you get if you help Daniel. But I'm not unhappy with this. I mean, it's not perfect, but what is ever perfect in this world, right? Also, what is this over here? Oh, look at all of this stuff. A light shining in darkness. A gun, chalk's headdress. Daniel's head, Daniel's outfit. Joshua Graham's armor. Salt upon wounds helmet. Salt upon wounds power fist. Scripture. <laughs> Interesting. That's a lot of loot that I just get for free. I'll take all of it and yeah, it's going to over encumber me. But I mean, I guess I can leave some other stuff behind probably. Or I will just try to make my way back to uh, 
it's so lucky 38 leave some stuff behind and then come back to pick up the stuff that I left behind before I came to Zion in the first place because um, that is still in that chest I suppose but yeah let's have one last look at Zion Valley beautiful place but now it's time to take care of our own business again back in the Mojave and there we go quest completed departing paradise I wonder if I can just go back there if I wanted to I mean it's still an option apparently so I guess I could come back there to pick up some supplies that are only available in that region or whatever and yeah this is going to go really slow now but what can you do but if I'm not mistaken at the end of this tunnel there should be the chest with stuff that I left behind before coming here um, it's probably over here where the light is <laughs> and then I will just leave some stuff behind and come back to collect it later because I don't want to leave behind any of that nice stuff that I found in that chest but yeah, this was an interesting DLC. It was nice to see a little bit of a different um, landscape and meet some interesting people. Um, I'm just going to leave all of this behind and I will come back later to pick it up again. And here we are again in our grey yellow Mojave wasteland. I gotta say, Zion Valley is significantly more beautiful than this. Um, no doubt about it. But it's still good to be back. And I guess I will off camera return to the Lucky 38 and drop off some stuff, pick up the stuff that I left behind. And then in the next episode, we will finally continue with our other stuff. <laughs> um, specifically, I want to pick up new companions and explore a little bit. So I guess that's what we're going to do starting next episode. But for now, let's call it a day and we will continue our journey here in the Mojave in the next episode. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.